Hello everyone, once again, welcome to Power Distribution Channel. Today, we are going to relocate a single face pole into a new location. But before we touch the pole, the single face line must be energized by cutting the jumpers. But the mine feeders cannot be interrupted. So, this hotline crew already on site to perform the cutting task. The hotline crew are waiting on the bucket for the main cutout to be opened since this operation cannot be carried out under load and now the load has been dismantled and the crew begin to approach the main feeders pole the crew are maneuvering around the pole first the crew hold the jumper using clamp stick so that during cutting process the jumper doesn't move around or fall which is a very dangerous after the clamp stick firm in place, the crew are starting to cut the jumpers using the telescopic uh, cutting tools. This conductor size is around 70 mm square, triple AC, and the jumper has been cut. Then the offline crew starts to work on the pole by removing all the parts start from this uh, street lighting the other crew opens the other uh, cutout so the idea is the jumper will be connected to this uh, push cutout next the lineman or titan is body harness and then dismantle the section cutout This cutout will be dismantled permanently, so on the left is the main uh, cutout on the main feeder. Next, the crew opens the LLC, then removing the strain clamp from the suspension isolator so that the conductor can be removed from the pole. Meanwhile, the other crew creates or reconnect the jumpers to the bottom at this main cutout. This is the replacement for the conductor that has been brought down. We use a half insulated triple ACS conductor. This is the hole has been dug for the new location for the pole. And this is the cutout that has been brought down complete with its mounting extension. The extension is useful to prevent the arc from reaching the pole. This is the suspension insulator, still in very very good shape. And here it is, the LLC or hotline clamp. There is no grease left due to weathering. And that, the, the old uh, conductor being wrapped around. The crew are progressing by dismantling the other section of the conductor and next is the neutral wire. The neutral wire with the NC insulator being brought down. The jumper has been completed. After all the wires, cables, and other accessories has been removed from the pole, now the crew ready to pull this pole to the new location. They are slowly maneuvering the pole. This pole weighs around 350 kilograms. And they position the pole into the new hole. The pole is firm in place, and now the crew begin to ascend to the pole and installing all the necessary equipment, such as the suspension insulator, strain clamps, and the street lighting. Two crew at the top are installing the suspension insulator and the bottom crew installing the street lighting. Next, 
next the secondary surface wire is attached to the pole and then the medium voltage single phase conductor after the suspension insulator is ready then they string the conductor using hoist the bottom crew are reconnect the secondary surface wire to fed this street light lamps after the single phase conductor is properly tensioned the crew lock it in place by fasten all the bolts on the strain clamp then the crew work on the same process on the other side of single phase conductor next the crew install this line post insulator to properly secure the jumper on top of the pole after that the crew place the jumper and secure it using a tie wire next the crew are reconnect both of the conductors using a compression connector and press using hydraulic press and last but not least they are reconnect the neutral conductor at the bottom of the single phase line and there you have it guys the relocation process of single phase distribution line if you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and give likes for more video in the future thank you very much